You come to my house, break the house you came. I didn't okay. break anything. I didn't break hi guys welcome back to our channel in case you're new here my name is maren and i'm maureen yeah so in today's episode we're going to be reacting on a video of a white tourist who came to kenya and well long story short let's just say his white privilege did not work out well for him in kenya right and let me just tell you give you a piece of advice here in kenya the culture is very different mm -hmm. and more so because it's a predominantly black society mm -hmm. so you, if you're a woman a white woman your white tears won't, won't save you out of the trouble you put yourselves in in Kenya mm -hmm. and if you're a white man your white privilege won't save you from the troubles you put yourself in mm -hmm. and la let's just say especially if you come into an African country and misbehave behave badly you find yourself in the wrong side of, of everything law. of the law and everything that is happening and then you expect to get out of it unscathed because well, I, of your privileges your skin privileges this is Africa so let's just watch this guy so that you, you can know what we are talking about about and then if you have a comment leave it on the comment section but let's watch and then we come back and talk about it okay guys check it out so we're trying to check out of this place and she's not letting us out let me 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 out oh now you want to let me out right now you will yeah dude this place is horrible she's being aggressive first of all she says i can i can check out at 12 and now you come to my house Break the house you came. I didn't break anything. I didn't break anything. Guys, I don't know who this lady is, but she got really aggressive. First, she said we can check out at 12, and then she's necking on the door at 10 in the morning, waking us up, waking us up. Really I've been so aggressive since we got here. You've been so aggressive to us. Why are you breaking my door? You come here, you drink those drinks. You break my door. You think I'm going to pay for your repairs? Record me nicely. You're even doing it slow. Record me nicely. Carol. Okay, can I can I go through, please? Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go talk to the security yeah. guards, and we can yes. discuss this a civilized way because yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't you're talking to me? Yeah. How much did the real estate agent take from you? Because we paid a lot of money for this, and a lot of people said that that was five thousand shillings. You Only five thousand. You want me to give you the proof? Wow, and we paid we paid more than half of that. She's I ripping you off. Five thousand. She's ripping you off. That is ten thousand. She's ripping you, you off. Right that's horrible. That's horrible. I can show you right now. Then you break my door. Yeah, that's and horrible. You yeah, we need to talk to your real estate agent because she's ripping you off. Okay, guys. So we just have to pay two thousand shillings and then let us go. But you know, like I don't really like this. Yesterday first, the police stopped us and they extorted us and we had to pay 3,000. Now today, same situation, they extorted us, we have to pay 2,000. Why, why, why can't they just like be chill and relax and do this to us, I don't understand. Okay guys, so I just paid her and we're finally gonna be able to leave. I'm getting out of here, I'm not being here anymore. I just don't want any problems, you know, but yeah. It's a shame. So guys, let's just say putting a camera in someone's face here in Africa, especially if you're in the wrong, does not really intimidate people. Yeah, but if you're on the right, putting a camera on someone's face might just save your life. Right. So this guy came into, okay, what has happened in the video? He was in someone's Airbnb and the rules in Kenya is you check in at 3 and check out before, uh, by 10 a.m. And so you check in at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. if you've booked an Airbnb, you check in at 3 p.m and you check out at 10 a.m. That mm. is most uh, Airbnb's rules. Mm. Yeah. But clearly, even at 10, they were not ready. And it looks like, uh, from what we've seen in the video, they had a little party in the Airbnb. They were really drinking so much, and they ended up breaking stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to, she wanted them to pay for the damages mm -hmm. so that she can get them fixed before her mm -hmm. next guest arrive. Right. Can we talk about the fact that I don't know if it's just me, but personally, I feel like he was trying to gaslight this woman mm. because he was trying to act like. Like the woman was harassing him mm -hmm. and he also mentioned something about um, let's go I don't know where they were going I guess they were, they were going to set, to settle the case and he was trying to say that let's go so that we can have a we can have a civilized, civilized conversation mm -hmm. it's like he was indirectly abusing this woman that she wasn't civil, civilized while as a matter of fact his his uncivil his uncivilization led to him breaking her very expensive door right there was another episode that happened 
happened in Kenya, a place called Mombasa. That's, that region is known for its touristic uh, whatever, you know. And it has beaches, sandy mm. beaches, mm. beautiful place. Yeah, so there's this elderly couple who came into uh, that area. And this man, despite having a wife, I feel like he wanted to have a, a good time, you know. He didn't he want to have a good time. He wanted to fulfill his... Um, what do they fantasies. call it? No, yes, fantasies too, but what do they call it when they, for black women, when they have that, um, anyway, guys, you get what we mean, right? Yes. So he went and picked up a call girl, a Kenyan, and then, you know, for the night, went, did their things, and then when morning came, he wanted he was to live without paying this lady. Money. So the lady, they had agreed for about the price and everything, but this guy wanted to live without paying, right? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, if embarrassment was a person, this lady embarrassed that uh, white guy. She even, I wish we had the visual representation because we're just describing because of copyright issues also. Mm -hmm. So what happened in the video, she held the man by his shirt and he, she was uh hitting him down there if you know what i mean yeah and she was really Kicking. fighting for her money now it caused a lot of commotion people started coming around you know even and police officers but they there. didn't interfere because this woman was fighting for her right to be paid yeah and, and even like, the the man's wife came and found this altercation <laughs> I and don't she know. tried Men to find the man. You really? No, instead of paying that, because how much was it? 300, I think 3,000 Kenyan shillings if you translate About that. About 3 to 5,000 Kenyan shillings. Yeah, that's like. 30 to 50 dollars i think and he couldn't pay he didn't want to pay or he couldn't i don't know which 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 of the two so they had this altercation and the wife is also trying to defend her husband and this woman was not letting her go now what happened is when the crowd came along the good thing i'm happy about this is that people didn't interfere because they also wanted the woman to be paid if that man did whatever he did and he promised to pay cash they wanted him to fulfill his promise yeah it wasn't for free yeah, and people and removed anyway, the wife from the situation and told yeah. her not to, to stay out of it that they were two dealing with each other right. and they ended up being taken to the police station to settle their issues there whether or not she paid we don't know but what i believe is that if after he was taken into the police custody even in the police station he was going to pay more than what he owed that woman yeah so these are two good examples of they couldn't you know they couldn't get away with their bad behavior in africa they were made to pay for mm -hmm. what and by the way guys as a free advice if you're white you already Okay, Africans in general carry white people like they have money because that is what Africans have been indoctrinated mm -hmm. to feel that mm -hmm. they are poor and white people are the ones with the money. Mm -hmm. So when you come and uh, you find this types of altercation and you go to report yourself to the police hoping that the police mm, will help you right. so that you deny these black people their justice you might end up paying more to the police than you should have paid to the Kenyan local mm -hmm. so a simple advice just do what you're supposed to be doing at the right time okay mm. so I think we're going to be leaving it there you guys let us know what you think about this episode in the comment section and we'll catch you on our next